Why do these doors make so Wait, there's still a commercial on us. Oh, it's probably halftime. Did I just run out of oil? F fuck me. And no more. What are you? Okay, okay. That doesn't look organic. Um, I want to go to the lab, the lab, the laboratory. Where was the laboratory? Fuck it, YOLO. <laughs> Fuck, I don't have any oil or tinder box. Fuck me. How do I... I still want to figure out... <laughs> Mommy! How do I crouch? Is it... Um, please don't. Stop it. Stop it. Ooh, what's this? A third attempt to produce lexicon poten- po Okay, I'm gonna read this. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the po potency I need, but I sense them close. Calamine and or pigment are a given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use as a detergent. Acid. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope and that I will find alchemy. Uh, there should be more. Fuck. Yes, Tinder. And one part aquaforce. Stop, I'm opening stuff. Move it or lose it. You guys can pause that if you want to read it. Wait. When I click on it, this thing comes up. What is this? Stop doing this! You whore. I've taken this toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seems unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. I probably shouldn't have wasted my tinder, because I have none left. I have a feeling... I'm like Oh 
way. Does anyone else hear that? Hold on, I'm turning the brightness up. <laughs> I can't stand this. Alright, I'm turning it up. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's fine. One. That's lower than I had it originally, but it's higher than I had it before. Fuck me. Oh, I have to go into those scary rooms. I don't like I don't like scary rooms. I don't wanna go into scary rooms. You go into scary rooms. <laughs> Stop being so loud. YOLO I right, good 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 I did not want to go down there anyway and then combining fork and create chemical means have been moved to the laboratory to to the wine cellar I have to find the key to the wine cellar so I can get the ingredients okay Stop blowing, stupid wind. That, like, when, when I was climbing up the staircase, that woman scared the fuck out of me. Like, more than that Enderman did that one time on uh, Super Saturdays, the first one. I'm not sure how many of you guys saw that. This is block two. I'll take that. Okay, so I guess I have to go in here, and this was the scary part. Alright, I have like five more minutes until I do not have time to record anymore. Oh, Celtics are up 49 to uh, 40. Sixteenth of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should Fuck be something you phone. interesting. Alright, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna cut this out. My British voice. Museum. Alright, the phone stopped ringing, so this is where my voice shall return. I'm gonna light you. Oh, I thought that was a chandelier. I need oil! God damn it! You I will light. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. That's the guy I have to kill, I guess. This contract... This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Fuck off. <laughs> I, just, I just threw that chair like a boss. Fuck me. There's...
That door's open. What do I hear? I I heard something. I can still hear it. Go away. I don't want you here. 17th of May, 1839. My hand trembles as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I was trapped. Alright, so I think that's it for now. I'm going to save and quit. So I, if you guys want more, show it by uh, leaving leaving um likes and show it by leaving a like and a comment and maybe even a favorite if you're a nice person but um anyways thanks for watching and i i sure had a fun time bringing you guys this game and maybe next time if you want more you could find out what was following me um so yeah thanks for watching and see ya